So I've decided to convert this commercial mini over to one of my homemade ones. Um, I don't really see these little commercial minis as a viable option for putting bees through winter. So I'm going to take the opportunity to put them into one of my homemade ones. And then if they build up enough, I'll put them in a, a long mini box in a few weeks. So what I've got is just three frames of brood that I've taken out of my other strong long minis. And I'm going to use the bees out of this commercial mini to populate this, uh, this box. So this is one of my little conversion frames. It's just a little piece of comb that's attached to a paper straw. And I can put a, a longer skewer through it and then it can hang in my homemade box which are a bit wider than the commercial minis. So I'm just checking for the queen here now. She is on this frame. She's just trying to hide from me a bit. I'll get a shot of her in a minute. So there she is there. She's just a little virgin queen at this stage. There wasn't any eggs at all in this hive, so I'm pretty sure she's still a virgin. So I just sat the frame there and she walked on down onto those combs. So this is a pretty well populated mini but it's probably only just enough bees to populate these three frames of brood. I probably could have gone with just two frames but I wanted to relieve some congestion in the long minis so I decided to take three frames. So the idea is these bees are orientated to this spot so all I need, oh there's the queen cell there that queen came out of. All I need to do is shake them into this new box and it's the same colour on the front so they should just start using it no worries at all. few bees in the box, not many, just shake them out as well. Now a little foundation in the front there. And I'm giving them a little bit of liquid feed. I'm only giving them about half a feeder. They haven't been having liquid feed this mini so I don't want to overdo it. I'll just give them a little bit at a time. And that's it for them. So they start going in the entrance straight away, which is good to see. So I'm left with these four combs and I want to make use of these if I can. This one is just a little bit of capped brood there which is from the previous queen that was raised in this box. This one's a nice little frame of honey and a little bit of capped brood there and pollen. This one's a bit of capped brood and nectar and just a nicely drawn out brood comb. We'll have a look at this cell. 
it's fairly deep as it goes back in there so it is a decent sized cell in the end and that one's just all honey even a bit of capped honey there so I'm gonna go through my other minis and see if any of them need a bit of honey or another comb and I'll try and make use of these combs that I've got so I'll just work through these other little hives gradually and see what we've got and see if I can use up these other combs find it easiest if you can to take out that feeder gives you plenty of room to move in the back and I've just got a bit of nectar stored there Well, it's probably actually sugar water, not actual nectar. So you can see how I've put a little queen cage, introduction cage there down the side. So this had a virgin queen introduced. So I can get rid of that cage now. It's pretty well stuck to the comb, so takes a bit to get it free Just seeing if I can find the Virgin Queen so I know she's been accepted. Right there she is there. So it's good to see her, to know she's accepted and Hopefully she'll be mated and laying within the next week or 10 days. Just carefully putting those combs back in so I know I'm not squashing anyone. And I decide to leave this one just as it is. I could put more combs in the back, but it is handy to be able to feed them. I'll just give them a bit of feed here while I'm at it. Just about half a feeder. They don't need the whole thing. I just need a bit to keep them going. I'll just put a bit of that pine needle sort of stuff in there to make sure they don't drown in there. So that didn't need any more combs, so I'll just put that one away. Here's another one, similar one, sort of a four frame box. with the feeder in it as well. So I can sort of feel from the weight of these that they're doing okay. So I'm not gonna go in and disturb them. There should be a virgin queen in there, so I don't, I don't wanna dis disrupt them. Just put a little bit of feed in there for them and put them back. 
I reckon there's a queen in there because if there wasn't, those bees would fly off and join another hive. So this one's a bit more advanced. I've been in here before and seen a queen. And she should, I'm pretty sure she's laying already. Yeah, because I can't have a feeder in there, I've just given them a little bit of fondant at the back. That's what that little packet is. It's just the corner out of a, one of those fondant packets. And they've ate, eaten that pretty well. They're just my little conversion frames. You can see there that one's got brood on it. So she is, is laying this queen and you can see there, a bit of open brood and a bit of hat, uh, capped brood, so that's good to see. I'll just have a quick look through it and see if I can see a queen and see what the brood looks like. It's a bit of a ruddy frame there that it's had a wax moth chew through it and they've had to tear it down a bit. But there is a bit of brood in that comb. Hopefully they can repair it in time. Bit more brood there. Just looking around for the queen. I don't really need to see her, but I'm just a bit curious to have a look. She must be down there in the bottom of the box running around with all those other bees. So anyway, I should stop falling around and just put it back together. No, can't see her. Must be a queen in there somewhere. Anyway, they're a fairly strong, healthy nuke, so that's good to see. I'm going to give them one more comb here. She could use a bit more room to lay, so... Just give them that little frame there. There's a few open cells there in the middle. She'll be able to get on there and lay in the next few days. So I'm just gonna give them another little piece of fondant. Just cut a strip like that and it can sit along the back there where there's a bit of space. Just gives them a bit of energy to feed the brood and, and go foraging. So this is the last one I've got in the backyard. Looks fairly good there, lots of nice white comb.
There's a few bees in the feeder, so I'm just going to tip them out. Just have a quick look at what they're up to. So once the queens start laying in these little boxes, they soon run out of room, which is one of the problems with them. So I'll give them that brood comb. There's plenty of open cells in there. She can get on and lay. Just got a little piece of fondant there. I can drop that down the bottom. They'll find it and make use of it. And I'll also give them this comb you can see a few open cells there, a bit of capped brood and plenty of honey there for them too. So that'll, that'll help them out a bit. Okay, thanks, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.